He's the God of all my organs. He's the God of every part of my body. And I prophesy by the spirit of faith tonight, there's some organs in some temples of the Holy Ghost that's about to work again. It's about to operate without medication, even without surgeon scapels. God's about to make it live. It's about to come alive. God, if I be your prophet, if I be sent here tonight, I command in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals us, Exodus 15 and 26, I command organs to live. My God, my God. Let me teach you something in John 11. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he raised a four-day-old decaying, stinking, rotten body back to life. That means he restored every organ. Look at your neighbor and say, he's more than a healer, he's a miracle worker. That song's been written about long as there's breath, there's hope, that's a lie. He can raise the dead. I've seen him do it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ooh. In John 9, come on, somebody. He spit and made mud cakes, slapped it in a boy's face, I told him to go wash it off in the pool of Siloam. And the boy who couldn't see and didn't have eyes got eyes. <laughs> Remember Peter cut Malachi's ear off uh, in the garden when they come to seize Jesus. Uh, and Jesus just put his hand up there where an ear had been amputated. Uh, and when he removed his hand, there was an ear again. Amen. Somebody shout, Lord, touch my ears and give me healing ears. Uh, let me hear what they're saying so I can be whole, uh, so I can get free from this. Uh, some of us have been so discouraged uh, about what we're going through in our temple, in the temple of the Holy Ghost, uh, what we're dealing with daily, uh, amen, in our body. Some of us has just settled uh, that we're going to stay sick until Jesus till Jesus comes but I'm telling you there's promises not only in the life to come but in this life 1 Peter 4 7 and I say to you by the word of the Lord in me in the name of Jesus behold from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet somebody's back's being healed whatever he tells you to do with that word you ought to obey him Jesus always told people to do something they couldn't do. He told people couldn't walk, get up and walk, and if they tried in faith. I've seen him do it. Why do you need that crutch? Because of your back. Wow. You want your back back? Lift your hands. And after I pray for you, get up and come meet me. Either we believe or we don't. Look up there at cross. He took stripes on your back right there. On his back for your back right there. You have been healed. And I say unto you, woman, thou loose from thine infirmity. Luke 13 and 12, in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I command your back to be whole. Every joint, every vertebrae, every tendon, every muscle, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, back, come alive, live, in the name of Jesus. Now rise in the name of Jesus and walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Hey, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hey, some of you in here got back issues. God said some of you may just need to check yourself like this. Somebody may need to do this. I don't know what you need to do, but when you hear God speak, move. Thank you, Jesus. 
Brother Mark Tillman. When I just looked at you, the Holy Ghost said to prophesy and say I'm doing something in his feet and legs. I ain't talking to you. I don't know nothing about you. But God says I'm touching your feet. I'm touching your legs right now in the mighty name of Jesus. He's coming all the way up into your back, brother. Glory to God. That's it. Go ahead, sister. Glory. Acid reflux is being healed in the name of Jesus. Sugar diabetes, I curse it. That thing's in this church and I cast it out. I command it to come out of your family. I command it to loose your vessel. I command it to loose your body and to let you go. Go in the mighty name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Have blood pressure be healed in the name of Jesus. There's several women in here. You have female complications. Some of you have been to the doctor and some of you have it. But you struggle. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know why. I'm no doctor. I'm not here to diagnose. But I'm here to decree by the Spirit of God. Now I was quoting Matthew 8, 16 earlier. Jesus cast out the devils with his word. Now I need me some strong brothers. Come on. Give me a couple of brothers. But Matthew 8, 17 said Jesus himself took their infirmities. He bore their sicknesses that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. Somebody shout, it was healing on credit. He hadn't even been to the cross yet, Pastor Frank. Friend, if he was healing everybody before the cross, how much more now? The devil told me today, he said, you can't go preach this. You know you suffer and torment in your flesh all the time for years, many years, infirmity, stuff that goes on in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I lifted my hands in that yard today. Hallelujah, after I got through helping them roofers put on some new shingles up on top of that roof from that tornado. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, that's why I'm a little pink skinned. Hallelujah, hey man, I started walking around that yard out there. I had a little bit of tar on my hand, but I mean, lift my hands. I said, Holy Ghost, I don't care if I hurt you, still a healer. I don't care, I'm gonna preach it. I'm gonna preach it because if we're gonna see it, we gotta preach it. I still believe he took our infirmities. He bore them. That means everything in my body, every organ, amen, that's suffering right now. Jesus already took it. He already took it. Lord, you said you sent him out to preach the kingdom of God and heal the sick, Luke 9, verses 2. You said in Luke 9 11, you healed those that had need of a healing. Ma'am, here he comes. Fire of Holy Ghost. I command it to go. Every person watching this live, I command sickness and disease to loose you and let you go. Lord, I command everything that attacks my mama's body. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I command it to come out of her and loose her. Come here, apostle, lay hands on my mama. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, God's moving. God's healing somebody's lungs. Somebody's lungs is being opening. God, I command that knee to live. I command that back to live. Come here, some brothers. Give me some brothers. Come on, somebody here. God, I thank you that she's healed. Go! Loose her body now in Jesus' name. 
Man of God, I command your body to live, Pastor. I command every organ in your body to live. I command everything that's been wrong to come in alignment with the word of faith. And behold, behold, for I will restore health unto you and heal you of your wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. Hey, holy, my God, my God. Somebody just prayed, Lord, let him call mine out. I just did. Somebody's thinking, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Because you prayed, Lord, let him call mine out. He just answered you. Though I didn't specifically call it out. You said, Lord, let him call mine out. And by me even revealing what you prayed, that's him calling you up here. You better come on. Oh, somebody shouts, you ain't got to wait for a word of knowledge. It's already been took by wisdom himself. The word of wisdom says tonight, I took it in my body so you wouldn't have to keep it in yours. Come on. Your eyes. Open in the name of Jesus. Arthritis is being healed. Bursitis in the shoulders being healed. Hemorrhoids are being healed. The prostate glands being healed. The stomach is being healed. The colon's being healed. Oh, yeah. Somebody, every time you eat, you hurt so bad in your left side. But God said tonight, go home and pick you something healthy you know you can eat. Come on, that you couldn't eat. And begin to chaw on it and eat. Because God said, you are here. There's somebody in here when you try to swallow sometimes you choke on your food. Come here. Come on. Not after tonight. Not after tonight. Whew. Lift your hands to him. God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And God says, I give my beloved sleep, Psalms 127 and 2. God said, you're about to lay down and sleep. You're going to get a rest that you ain't never had before. Thank you for healing our Jesus. My Lord. These people in here, you got shoes you'd like to wear. But you just see them in your closet every day. But you can't wear them because of the pain in your feet. Amen. Not after tonight. If that's you, lift your hands. I know we're running out of room in this altar, but come on. Come on. Do you believe? Do you believe? Healed. Healed, healed, healed. I know you do. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, the living Christ. Healed. Feet live. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God, I thank you. Any inflammation goes. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And God says that old pain, that one that's been around a long time. Holy Ghost, I thank you that you are targeting that tonight and she's here in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for healing these feet. Mm. From her now in Jesus' name. Praise God. Don't you like when the Holy Ghost just interrupts? Let me teach you this because I ain't just about praying and having feel goods. Mm, he called me to preach. Luke 4 18 and 19. Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. 
to preach deliverance to the captive, to set at liberty them that are bruised, recovering of sight to the blind. Verse 19, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus said the Holy Ghost was upon me three times to preach and to three times to perform what I preached. Jesus didn't just preach. He preached to perform. Look at your neighbor say he's still in the performance business. I ain't talking about HBO hell box office. Come on, somebody. But I'm telling you, he's still performing his word. Who did I say? He's not only anointed to speak it, he's anointed to bring it to pass.